Colossim, Colossians 2. For I would that ye knew what great conflict I have for you, and for them at Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the acknowledgment of the mystery of Yahweh, and of the Father, and of Mashiach, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in Ruach, joying in beholding your order and the steadfastness of your belief in Mashiach. As ye have therefore received eth HaMashiach, eth Yahusha our Adonai, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the belief as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach, for in him dwells all the fullness of Elohim bodily. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Mashiach, buried with him in immersion, wherein also ye are risen with him through belief in the operation of Elohim, who has raised him from the dead. And you, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, has he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all transgressions, blotting out the handwriting of dogma that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his pole. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of a feast day, or of the new moon, or of the Shabbat, which are a shadow of things to come for the body of Mashiach. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshipping of angels, intruding into those things which he has not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands, having nourishment ministered and knit together, increases with the increase of Yahuwah. Wherefore, if ye be dead with HaMashiach from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to dogma? Touch not, taste not, handle not, which are all to perish with the using, after the commandments and doctrines of men. Which things have indeed a show of wisdom in will worship, and humility, and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. 